Okay, you guys, now that we've gone through the lecture, let's go ahead and start our problem 73A, and that's on page 353 in your book. And let's read through it. The cash account for Remedy Medical Company at April 30th, 2014, indicated a balance of 18885 Now, what we were talking about in our notes, that would be the balance per depositor's records or company records. Or you could call it uh, balance per general ledger. You know, you guys, I was picky on the wording on some of our earlier problems like the financial statements because those go to parties outside the business like creditor, uh, potential lenders, and potential investors. But on a bank reconciliation, that's an in-house document only. So the way you word this is really not as important. Um, you want to label it correctly, but you could use lots of different terms for, say, cash balance according to company's records. You could call that by several names. It's not as important because that's in-house only. The business owner and employees, maybe, would be the only one that would see this document. Okay, next it says the bank statement balance. Or the bank statement indicate a balance of 23775 on April 30th, 2014 that same date. Comparing the bank statement and the accompanying canceled checks and memos with the records revealed the following reconciling items. Or we have several A through F and we will account for all those in the problem. And number one, ask us to prepare a bank reconciliation. Okay, we'll start with cash balance according to the bank statement. You guys, you fill in your heading as well. Okay. Remember, on your final, these will be worked out on paper, so please practice these on blank paper, okay, so you're ready to take the final. All of my in-class students take every test that way, so you guys only have to do the final that way. But please practice accordingly. Okay, our cash balance according to the bank statement was, what, 23775 Sorry for that interruption. Our cash balance according to the bank statement was 23775. I had a pop-up there. Okay, now we want to look for anything that we need to add to the bank's balance. Well, you guys, that would be something that the depositor had already added to their balance. That on April 30th, the bank statement date, the bank did not know to include in theirs. So let's look. Um, Hmm. On B, it says a deposit of $3,580 representing receipts of April 30th had been made too late to appear on the bank statement. Well, you guys, when the depositor made the balance, they would have added it to their, uh, to their records. So that deposit is included in the Remedy Medical Company's cash balance of $18,885. But the bank did not know to include it in their balance on the April 30th statement. So we want to add, uh, let's find it, deposit of April 30th not recorded by the bank. And that was 3580. See, while we're adding it to the bank's balance, the company had already added it to theirs but the bank had not included it in their bank statement balance. Okay, now we want to look for another addition, and this must be an error, and it would have to be a bank error, you guys, to be included in this section. Um, let's look to E. A check drawn for $330, so Remedy Medical Company wrote a check for $330, had been erroneously charged by the bank as 3300 Wow, that would show up immediately for me because that would definitely be an overdraft. But what happened? The Remedy Medical Company wrote a check for $330. The bank mistakenly took 3300 out of their account. So to correct that, we first need to call the bank and then we need to add that to their balance. So bank error in recording check is 3300 instead of 330. It's easy to add that extra zero. 
Um, so how much do we need to add back? Well, they subtracted 3,300. They should have only subtracted 330. So we need to add back the difference, 2970. I'm going to put it in like this, equals 3300 minus 330, or 2970. Okay, now we're going to get a subtotal here. We're just going to add together these two amounts. So equals 3580 plus 2970. And we get 6550 which we'll get, add to the beginning balance to get our subtotal here. So that's equal to 23,775 plus 6550. You get 30,325. All right, now we want to look for anything that needs to be deducted that the company had already deducted from their records. I'll let you think about it for a second. Pause if you need to. But you guys, the company is going to deduct checks from their records when they're written. The bank, though, doesn't know to deduct the checks until they process through the bank. So what we're going to pick up here is A, checks outstanding, meaning checks written by Remedy Medical that have not processed through the bank totaled 7840. Now on the face of the bank reconciliation it's okay to just put outstanding checks and the total amount in this case 7840. But you guys on a separate page if you're doing this for a business and I'm sure Remedy did it here we just don't have that included in the problem you would want to list each check number and each amount individually. That way when next month's bank statement comes in the ones that show up on it, we can check them off. And the ones that don't, will carry forward and be included in this number again at the end of May. Okay, so now we're going to deduct our outstanding checks from the 30325 to get our adjusted balance here. So this one is equal to 30325 minus the 7840. And that gets us to 22485 all right, so we're done with that section. Next, we'll go to the cash balance according to the company's records. Uh, that amount was 18885 And we want to add anything that the, comp that the bank had already added to their balance that the company did not know about until they received the bank statement. Well, you guys, you can mark these off as you go. We've already used A. We've already used B. You won't use them more than once. We've already used E. So we still have to account for C, D, and F. Okay, C is very, un I, I consider it to be unusual, but let's read it. The bank collected $3,780 on a note left for collection face of the note was 3600 well if the face of the note that means the principal amount was 3600 then the extra 180 collected was interest what happened there you guys remedy medical company had um, had made a loan likely to a customer and they were having trouble collecting it the bank is in the business of collecting loans so they asked their bank to collect it for them the bank did and deposited it into Remedy's checking account. Well, what they're assuming here is Remedy didn't realize it until they received the bank statement. I think that's a little far-fetched. We'd probably stay on top of it a little more closely than that, and the bank would probably call us and tell us that they collected it. But anyway, we'll handle that here. Um, we'll assume that Remedy did not know about it until they received the bank statement. So we'll put add proceeds of note collected by the bank, including the 180 interest. That's $3,780. And then we'll get a subtotal by adding our beginning balance to the 3780. And that gives us a subtotal here. Okay, and then we want to deduct. Well, 
One thing we'll want to deduct from the company's records almost every time, or every time if it's present, is the bank service charge. The bank deducts it from their balance when they prepare the statement, but usually the company doesn't know about it until they receive the statement. So we'll say bank service charges. Oh, they didn't want that one first. So let's go back. Instead of going to F, let's check our other remaining one, D. A check for $770 returned with a statement had been incorrectly recorded by Remedy Medical as 700. Check was for the payment of an obligation to Copeland Company for a purchase on account. Okay, we'll get to that last sentence later. So what happened, uh, Remedy Company wrote a check to Copeland Company for $770, the amount they actually owed them. But when Remedy Company recorded that in the records, they only recorded it as 700 so to correct that, they need to deduct an extra $70. So we'll see error in recording check, and we'll call that 70 bucks. The reason they wanted this one first, you guys, they're going in descending order, greatest to least. You see why that's 70? Let's do it this way. It's equal to 770, the actual amount of the check, minus 700, the amount it was incorrectly recorded for. So we need to subtract an additional $70. Okay, and then like we talked about before, the company would not know about the service charge until they received the bank statement. The bank had already deducted it in coming to this number. So to get the two to match, we need to deduct the bank service charge here. And from F, that was $110. Ouch, that's high for a service charge. And I guess I was wrong. I expected the service charge to be less than 70. I'm not sure why they wanted the error first and the service charge second. Uh, you guys, to get full credit up here, you would have to list them in that order. But if you reverse those two, I would certainly give you full credit even if your score did not indicate it. It doesn't matter which one you list first. All right, now we're going to add those two together. Equals 70 plus the 110 equals 180 here, which will subtract from the 22,665 to get our adjusted balance. And notice the adjusted balance here, 22,485, matches the adjusted balance here, 22,485. Now we'll wrap up this problem in the next video. Thanks.